And we're back with more Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy. When Marcus and I were kids, we were inseparable. He's the one who took care of me after our parents died. We kind of grew apart after he became a priest. But he's still the only person I really trust. The only one who might believe that I had nothing to do with all this mess. There he is. Hey, bro. I'm happy to see you. I missed you. Huh? It's been a while. Two years. So tell me what's happened, Lucas. I've killed a man, Marcus. It happened at a restaurant last night. It's like I was possessed in a sort of trance, like I was a puppet on a string. I saw what I was doing, but I was powerless to stop it. My God. I can't believe this, Lucas. Tell me that it wasn't you. You're not capable of something like that. Uh, details. This murder. I exactly how did it happen? Oh, wait, am I playing as the brother? After work last night, I stopped at a little diner to get something to eat. I read a book at my table, I think. And after, it's just a black hole. I don't remember anything. Right up until I found myself in the toilets with a knife in my hand. It, it, was, it was horrible. Mm, alone. You went to this restaurant alone? Yeah. Tiffany and I, we broke up about a month ago. I try to get out of the apartment as much as possible. It's just so empty there without her. Ouch. You know. Um, witnesses? Were there any witnesses? Did anyone see you? Probably. I got out of the restaurant as best I could. The police still haven't identified me, apparently, but it probably won't take them too long to track me down. Uh, trance. You say that you were in a sort of a trance. But what do you mean by that? Are you talking about magic? Or sorcery? Or something like that? Marcus, I don't have an explanation. I'm just telling you what happened, that's all. I'm only certain about one thing. I'm not the one who really killed that man. Hmm. Um, visions? While I was doing this horrible thing, I saw something, or or rather someone. Was somebody else there with you? No, it was it was like a sort of vision. I saw a man in the middle of hundreds of candles. And and there was this little girl. I remember that. Uh powers? There's something else you need to know. I know this sounds crazy, but after the murder, I, I had these premonitions, like I was seeing things that hadn't happened yet. What happened to me, Marcus? What am I supposed to do now? You know me better than anyone, Marcus. Help me. Hmm. Listen, Lucas, I... I'm a bit lost here. This whole story is just so bizarre. Mm-hmm. Uh, police? It might be better. Oh. Maybe you should go. No. No, no, no. Tell your story to the police. It's not what I meant. Lisa. Don't do it, Lucas. Turn yourself in. We're not in doing that. No. Before they find you. Do you really think the police are going to believe a story like no. that? They'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life, and I'll never find out what really happened. I am a priest, Lucas. The fact that you have taken a life is a very serious matter. I told you that it wasn't me, Marcus. All these Frick, years and nothing's changed. Ruin the relationship you still never more. listen to me. I'm sorry. Lucas, don't ask me to make a choice between my faith and my brother. I will uh, convince. I'm not a murderer, Marcus. You're the only person I can trust. I'm just asking you to believe me. You do. I was Very there. Well. I'll do whatever I can Aww. for you, but I can't do anything that goes against my beliefs. That's fair. Look, I I need to get some answers. I'll, I'll call you. Here. You need this more than <laughs> I do. Thanks, bro. Marcus, you know that I don't believe in all that. Take it anyway. Lies plus one? Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. I love how they had that whole very, very serious conversation uh, super loud in the middle of a park with kids playing. That lady walked by like three times. Oh, there's that crow. No, not again. Oh, fuck. Kid! Ooh. Oh, that's scary. That kid. Oh. He's gonna slip on the ice. Oh. I've gotta stop him. Go. The cop in the restaurant. Oh, fuck. If I don't do something, the child will die. If I do do something, the cop will recognize me. Shit! What oh, what do you do? What do you do? 
I gotta save the kid. Save the kid. And then just get out of there. Alright, getting in our workout for the day. Uh, swim, Lucas, swim! There he is. Yeah. He's lost consciousness. That was quick. Quick. I've got to go back up before I run out of air. Come on. Oh, you got this. Oh my god. I got kind of hard at the end. <laughs> oh, jeez. Man. This is exhausting. Is my... Oh, is my bar at the top there the time I have till the cop comes by? Because... Easy. Just run, let's go. Get out of there, Lucas. Go, run. Ah. I guess save the kid. Because I guess the cops aren't going to do shit. They just came by and watched. Uh, listen for breath. His heart. No longer beating. Quick, maybe it's not too late. It's not too late, let's go. Though it might be soon. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, one, two, three. Oh, I one, see. One, two, three. Come on, kid, I'm not gonna lose you. One, ya. two, three. One, two, three. Come back to me. Yeah. Plus 20, nice. Saving a kid puts you in a better mood, apparently. Troll 324, kid just fell into the water. Send an ambulance right away. Man. What courage! The kid would have died. Mm -hmm. That guy's a hero. All right, let's he dove into freezing water to save the kid. Uh, the kid never would have made it out of there without does him. Does he recognize me? The cop recognized me. We both knew it. It's hard to say why he didn't turn me in. Maybe he decided I was even. I had taken a life and given one back. Nothing really changed for me. I was still wanted for murder by the police. But when I left that park. <laughs> I knew I could look myself in the mirror again without cringing. Ah, oh, I wish I knew that feeling. I cringe every time I look in the mirror. Did the cop do the right thing? Should he have said something? I don't know. Oh god, who should we play next? I want to go back to Lucas Kane. I'm finding him the most entertaining so far. Oh. Shit. Nacer and Jones Bank. I was burning with fever. I was shaking all over. The migraine was back and drilling holes into my brain. And to top it off, I couldn't keep enough food down. My body seemed to be fighting against something, but I still didn't know what. Probably whatever possessed you the other day would be my guess. Nice. Alright, wash up. Don't worry, Lucas. We will get you out of this. And absolutely, I just, I love your sweater. There's some good clothes in this game. Yep. Yeah. Blow dry it. Mm, feels good. What's this? Alright, let's go. To the bank. Gotta just live my life no matter what. Don't raise any suspicions. Oh, is this my work? Despite the state I was in, I decided to go to work as though nothing had happened. And there's like no talking in this office. I'm in charge of computer maintenance in the Nacer and Jones Bank. I share my office with Warren. Frickin' Warren. What's good, Warren? How's the day? How's the grind? Look at you know what time it is? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I had a little problem on the way back in. I had to go back home and change my clothes. What does that mean? Ooh. Shit. I did bad. <laughs> I did great. That guy is one. so bizarre. He gives me the creeps. Oh, shut up, Warren. What'd you say? <sighs> we could read minds. What? I heard you. You were saying something? No, I didn't say anything. Are you sure you're all right, Lucas? I... I heard something, as though I could read his mind. Let's check your drawers. Look at a photo. Check it out. A wedding photo? No. 
Tiffany and I. About two Ooh, years ago. Oh, negative five. I guess. Put it back. I haven't been able to throw it away yet. Uh, maybe you guys will get back together. If I play my cards right, then maybe. Let's check the other drawer. Oh, wrong one. Shit, no, put that back. Do not look at that again. Other drawer. Oh, it's across. Check it out. Nice. We had a one up in that drawer. Answer the phone. Lucas Kane. Hello, Lucas. Oh. oh hello, Tiffany. I left a message on your machine last night. Um, I'd like to come and pick up some stuff at your place. Could I come over tonight? Yeah, sure. I should be back home around eight o'clock tonight. Okay, it won't take too long. He liked that. You doing okay, Lucas? I gotta let you go. I'm doing a thing here. Bye. See you tonight. Let's go get a bottle of champagne on the way home, okay? Failed? What did I just fail? Everything. <laughs> what? Murder? Murderer? <gasps> oh, it knows. The computers know. Lucas? You okay? Yeah, mind your business, Warren. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. It's okay, Lucas. You're just going crazy. Don't worry about it. Back to the, back to work. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Hello. Dumbass. Yes, sir. We'll get on that right away. Station sixty-two is down. I'll go. No, forget it. I'll, I'll handle it. Yeah, let's go to this office. Whatever you say. Uh, get up then. Let's go handle it. Oh, that was a weird camera change. Okay, what are we doing? Something's down. Okay, we got a waypoint. So red dots are good. <gasps> what the? F Ew! Oh, it looks like a tick. <laughs> what was that? Weird. All right, let's do some repairs. Did we just have to plug it in? <laughs> Ew. Oh, they are ticks. Oh, get out of here. Ew, this place is infested. Oh my god. Are they real? Move. Ah. Get ready. No, I did it. I did do it. Fuck. Oh, great, 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 great. I think I lost a light. I have four lives left. They keep moving, Tick. Yeah, they're crawling on me. Oh, that was perfection. Good job. Brush those bitches off. Let's go. Ignore the dead coworkers. We've got other. Oh, fuck. Ugh, I've been training my whole life for this. Hell yeah. Oh, get out of here! Great. Look at me, man. I got the moves. Lucas, you badass. <laughs> Ew, there's one over you! <laughs> Alright, don't make me laugh, game. I'm trying to focus. Oh. I was never good at Simon Says. Oh yeah, eat it! Eat it! Oh, you want some more? Oh, we're out. <laughs> oh my 
my god. Oh, did you just fucking chuck the fire extinguisher at one? I can barely watch, I'm too focused, but yes. Oh, this is epic, man. Fucking go for it, Lucas! Whoa, fuck. Oh my god, those were everywhere. Come on, lift! Let's go, elevator! Come on! Elevator! Oh, it's him! Two faces of the same serpent. One in our world, the other in the other world. Woe to he who sees both sides of the snake. Is he helping me? Oh no, he's... Get in the elevator! Shit! Oh, we're gonna be fine. It's all in his head. Right? It's all in his head, right? Lucas? Lucas, what happened? Ah! Can you hear me? Are you alright? Aww. Hey, you've hurt yourself. You're bleeding. I, uh, I gotta go. I didn't have the slightest idea what had happened. The one thing I do know, those things almost killed me. Oh, that was fucking embarrassing. Guess you're probably gonna cringe when you look in the mirror tonight. I would after that. <laughs> okay. Uh, Carla, let's go. Oh, the morgue. Yeah, the mortuary. Mm, yep, he was stabbed to death. Confirmed. Is anyone going to say anything? This is a little awkward. Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, if you prefer, you can wait outside. I want to watch. I'd rather stay here if you don't mind. I've studied some medicine. I've seen dead bodies. Oh. As you wish. Thank you. No apparent hematoma on the body. Oh no. <laughs> Two broken fingernails on the right hand. That was bad. Failed. Large <laughs> hematoma on the back of the cranium. What is this? Uh, mm, fracture of the occipital bone. He cracked his head. Oh, and he fell. fuck, we missed one. Damn it. Abnormal dilation in um, both pupils. Why are his pupils dilated? What did he see before he died? Oh, hang on. Three knife wounds between the third and fifth ribs in the proximity of the heart. Mm -hmm. uh, the blade was driven in deeply. Uh, the stabs seem to have been delivered from the front and moved from left to right. The murderer was left handed. Oh, neat. One stab neatly cut the aorta, and the other two cut the left and right coronary arteries. They really didn't have a chance. The blade slipped right through the ribs to cut the arteries. He's precise. Uh, mm, cause. It was definitely the knife wounds that caused his death? Yes. Yeah, the three arteries leading to the heart were cut. Uh, the heart was literally a... Uh, Disconnected from the rest of the body. Knowledge. Do you think the killer had some knowledge of anatomy? It's not impossible, but I doubt that someone who understood human anatomy would do this. You'd really have to be deranged to want to provoke a slow and agonizing death in this manner. I don't know, it looks pretty quick of a death to me. And I was there. I uh, saw a case like this once before. It was a while back now, in the 90s, I think. Exactly the same. Three stabs around the heart, each one cutting a main artery. It really struck me at the time. I wondered how such a thing were possible. It was the, um, what was that name again? Karsten or Kirsten, something Kirsten. like that. Kirsten. Kirsten. Yes, that's it, Kirsten. You know about that case? Nope. Not yet. I'm sure as hell gonna find out. Damn right we are. All right, Tyler, my man, let's go. Come in. H Hello, detective. 
Hello, Mrs. Morrison. Uh, thanks for taking the trouble to come down. Please, take a seat. I'm curious now if the guy who was murdered deserved now, it. Now, we're gonna try and assemble a composite photo of the suspect you saw. We have a computer program to help us. You'll see, it's really simple. It's kind of like a video game. Have you ever played a video game, mm -hmm. Mrs. Morrison? No. All the time, really? Ah, it doesn't matter. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> the most important thing is to try to remember exactly what happened. The program consists of several types of facial features. You scroll through them until it looks like the man you saw. You understand? Yes. Well, I think I do. Okay. Let's go. Oh. So right now I could totally F them over and not be accurate at all. Let's try to be as accurate as possible. Those are definitely his eyes. But I don't want him to get caught. Alright, I'm of the belief that we're a good guy. We gotta be a good guy. Let's just go random. We'll do random until we see one that kind of looks like him, and that'll be the one we go with. Oh, that guy looks high out of his mind. Look at him. Oh. <laughs> Look at the stash on this one. <laughs> Uh, that kinda, except for the facial hair and the glasses. Let's do this. I mean, it kinda looks like him, kinda doesn't. I feel like if I was trying to draw him, this would be it. Let's do it. Now, is this the face of the person you saw? Uh, yeah. Yes. At least, that's how I remember 25 to 50 percent. Thank sort you of very similar. much for your help. We're gonna get this picture out to all the airports, trains, and bus stations, and to all of our patrolmen. If this guy is still in New York, we're gonna find it. Yeah, it's not gonna help you. And go buy yourself a video game. Yeah, go have a good evening. Forget about all this murder shit and just let loose with a game. Lucas's apartment, 9.04 p.m. Ooh, Tammy's coming over. 